And joining us now from London is I-24 News correspondent Jonathan Sashardani. Jonathan, thank you for being with us this evening. Good to be with you. This was arguably Prime Minister Cameron's worst weekend since he became Prime Minister. Well, it's definitely been a difficult week for David Cameron. As you saw, he admitted that himself in that speech he gave just a couple of days ago, saying that he could have done more in order to reveal more earlier on. And the problem really arose when he started by saying that this was a private matter, when journalists were questioning the name of his father being involved in those Panama Papers leaked uh, to the international press. Since then, he's come clean as such to explain that in fact there was some involvement from his father, but none of it illegal, he is very clear to point out. And so far, nobody has suggested there is anything illegal. This latest revelation that's come out with the opening up of his tax return details to the nation is that he received £200,000 from his mother after the death of his father. Again, this is fairly common practice in tax planning for families who are wishing to pass on wealth from one generation to the next in order to avoid, not evade, uh, inheritance tax, which is a second taxation on money that's often been taxed during the lifetime of the person leaving it to an heir. So what has happened in this situation is that Cameron has received a gift from his mother, which, should she survive for another seven years, would not be subject to inheritance tax. People are questioning, though, whether or not that is a moral thing to do. And that's where this issue really gets going, because people are not necessarily suggesting that David Cameron has done anything illegal, but there is a lot of questioning of whether or not the deception they see that he has put in place by not revealing this earlier, and whether the actual tax avoidance scheme itself was immoral rather than illegal. And Jonathan, very quickly, you're leading me into the next question. Legally, there may be no action against him, but how can this affect his popularity and the rest of his premiership? Well, another aspect of this is that the Labour Party and other opposition parties have been aiming to show that this is Mr Cameron as a wealthy man, considerably wealthier than the average Briton. These sorts of sums are those which most people don't earn in a year. And so I think they're, ne they're playing on that as well, in part to show that he is rather distant from the electorate. So far, though, Cameron is pointing out again, nothing illegal has happened. He's never denied that he comes from a wealthy background. And he still maintains he's the man to deal with tax evasion and tax avoidance in the government. And to that end, he's going to speak tomorrow to the House of Commons at 3.30 p.m. on this issue. We'll see how that plays out. Jonathan Sashradani, thank you very much for joining us with the latest from London. And we now move to the race for the White House. Ted Cruz took home another win over the weekend, but he didn't do it in the usual way. I-24 News' Owen Alterman has more.